The Army Creed is X amount of lines long, and the last three or four lines, one of them is, I will never leave a fallen soldier. What happened here was that he got left behind. If we would have gotten truth in the beginning of this, we wouldn't be where we are today. You get totally launched into a place that you never knew existed, ever, and everything's changed forever. Every night I wake up, every other hour I would wake up and I would just look around and I knew something was wrong. When Jessica got over there was really the deadliest part of the war. You're in the Army, you're going to Iraq. I absolutely didn't want him to go, but he promised me he'd come home. My husband, you know, died doing what he loved to do, you know. Um, he wanted to join the Army, he wanted to help people. War is probably the most complex and difficult of human activities. Good people, highly trained, highly equipped, can actually result in terrible tragedy. Yes, of course there are friendly fire casualties, because there are friendly fire casualties in every war that the United States has ever fought. Look, it's the Army. I don't think they do anything without a, a novel of regulations. It's a human problem, and humans are capable of an infinite number of screw-ups. He's squirming trying not to be seen, the rounds are going over his head. How could they make the mistake of not telling us he was shot? Not knowing the truth causes more pain. If you're going to have any kind of significant enemy force, any kind of engagement, there are going to be points of failure. It becomes something you, you are obsessed with. But obsession is not a bad word there, because the alternative is just to give up and then they win.